A curve is defined by the parameters x is equal to 5 sec t and y is equal to 7 tan t. Find the equation of the curve to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at t is equal to 7. So we want to find this is a parametric function we want to find the gradient of the tangent at when t is equal to 8. So let's write what's the function. So well x is equal to phi sec t. So we want to differentiate this. So we can say well this is x in terms of t so we can say they can differentiate with respect to t. So dx by dt. So the derivative of sec is <coughs> sec <coughs> sec t tan t, so this will be phi sec t times tan t. Okay, and y is given as 7 tan t, and the derivative of tan is sec squared t, so this implies uh, dy by dt is equal to 7 6 squared t. Now we want to find dy by dx. So well we can say dy by dx is equal to dy by dt dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So you will just substitute what is dx dy by dt. dy by dt is 7 sec squared t divided by phi sec t times tan t. I'm going to simplify this a little so it looks neater. So we can say well dy by dx is equal to 7 sec squared t can be written as sec t times sec t. Sec t times sec t is sec squared t divided by phi sec t times tan t. So what will be cancelled now? Tan t. So let me change color. So this will become this will become this sec t and this sec t gets cancelled. And uh, 7 over 5 is 14 over 10. So this is 1.4. 7 over 5, you can use a calculator, is 14 over 10. So it's 1.4. Uh, I have done a mistake here. I should remove the squared here. Okay, because it's sec t times sec t. Okay, so this becomes 1.4 sec t divided by tan t. Okay, so you can leave this as it is. Okay, sec t divided by tan t. Okay, so if you want to simplify this just a little more, so dy, dy by dx is equal to, so let me scroll it up slightly, dy by dx is equal to 1.4 uh, times, can I write this as sec t, 1 over tan t is cot t, this is 1 over tan, tan t which is cot t. You don't need to do all this, but let's simplify this a little. So this is dy by dx is equal to 1.4 times, what is sec t? Sec t is 1 over cos t. This is also a good revision for the algebra, sorry, for the trigonometry. And cot t is cos t, cos t divided by tan t. Sorry, cos cot is cos over sine. So what will get cancelled? This cos t and cos t gets cancelled. So we can say dy by dx is equal to 1.4 divided by 
sine t. So this is a derivative. Okay, so let me scroll, scroll this up. So <clears throat> the question what what was the question? So let's go back to the question. We want to find the grid of course equation of the tangent. So the gradient when t is equal to 8 is what we want to find. So we can say dy by dx is in terms of t when t is equal to 8. And one thing that you always should know in calculus and even in physics, you have to set your calculator in radian. So this is sine of 8. So let's use the calculator. So this is uh, first always check your settings scroll down it's in radians okay and then you can go one point let me scroll this up slightly 1.4 uh, can't I have to okay hopefully okay let me use a different calculator I've got a different calculator this is Okay, so let me set this in radians. So it's 1.4 1 .4, 1 .4 divided by sine of 8. Uh, sine. Okay, sorry, I had to do something else here. So let me cancel. So 1.4 divided by 8 sine. That's how you do 8 sine. Yeah, sine of 8, the sine in radians equals 1.415. If you want to round it in 4 dp, it's 1.4151. 1. So the gradient is 1.4151. 1. 1. Now you can also check this on a graphic calculator. Hopefully I can show you this. Let me slightly make this bigger. Okay. Okay, hopefully, so yeah, go to table and type in the function. The function was, you got to go to the parameters and x was 7, sorry, 5 sec t, so this is how you type in, 5 divided by, divided by cos t cos t and in y t1 you have to type in 7 10 t and it's already in radians so I'll set from 1 to 8 and then go to table execute and go to the table okay so you have to turn the derivative on so turn let's turn the derivative on and then go to table so if you scroll down to 8, and if you scroll to the right, this is your gradient, y, y comma dash, or y dash 1 is dy by dx, which is 1.4151. <coughs> okay, so that's, so let me scroll this down. So your gradient is 1.4151 in 4dp. Okay, so yeah, let me scroll it up so we can say, well, equation of tangent, equation of tangent would be y is equal to mx plus c. So we can say y is equal to 1.414151x plus c. Now to get c, we have to find a point on the curve. So let's do, when t is equal to 8, what is your x and y? So let's again go back to the calculator. And at 8, this is, your, sorry, you have to go to the right. This is your xt1, which is minus 34.36. And this is minus 47.59. So if you substitute these two, I already worked this out. So when t is equal to 8, your x value X coordinate is minus 34.36 in 2 dp, and your y coordinate is minus 47.60 in 2 dp. So if you 
put that in this equation, the final equation will be y is equal to 1.4151x plus 1.029. That's the equation of the tangent. Now you can also confirm this on a calculator, graphic calculator. If you go to graph and uh, let's let, I have to scroll like this, execute, scroll, and then draw it. So this is a very interesting graph. If you draw it, this is called a hyperbola. Okay. And then if you type in this equation in y2 is 1.1.4151 1 1 x plus 1 point zero two nine and then draw it this will be a tangent if you make it a scale a bit bigger you can see better so this is a tangent when t is equal to eight so when this is uh, t is equal to one and if you go this will be become a tangent on the right hopefully this video has been helpful